like sound money and you fool sound funny. Now one of you clowns want me to pound your face in the dirt, so stop hurting me when I'm round. No, it's going down. I'm going to town, holding the crown. I'm saying that I'm so amazing. If I'm Ruben, then you Clay Aiken, but second place gets nothing. So get up out this conversation, booth. The truth is you sadly mistaken. Proof, I'm better than a layman. Shoot, I'm super saiyan blue. This rap game, what you can't pursue. I'm a blatant root canal like an aching tooth. So now, cause the rap circle is here now. Underestimated my following, gave our dollars to the pre-order column. So what the problem is? Say you was dropping it, and then turn around, did the opposite, lining your pockets. You got a lot of nerve to be optimist. I guess I bit off more than I can chew. Let's not excuse my tardiness. I like to apologize to my audience. Not like I've been partying, promise not being fraudulent. I've been in homes there like a privatizing rock guardian. Part of a parliament, that's a problem. I plan on abolishing cause the rock is our best of friggin' product. You all are in, and all that talking, I ain't buying what you offering. You bad as intimidating and soft. Is what your daughter is. You've been a fake and yet you still hating. You can't knock me because I've been through Olympic trials of tribulations. Been on this grind and walked many miles to get this cake and now I'm going ape like I'm a saying. Quit playing with me because I'm a lot to deal with. I don't acknowledge you because you're too retarded to understand my skill set. So when I kick this knowledge, it's going to fly over your heel head. So polish up your mind real fast so I don't feel bad. I went from being broke to being hopeful. From standing on the post to going postal. I'm supposed to be on the post to competitions toast because I'm vocal. A bar for bar for you like I am Oprah. You should probably get off the sofa or the soapbox going at me. I hope not. You attacking with no plot because you act like a robot. You move when you told to move. You a puppet with a master. I'm the antithesis. That's why I'm opposed to you. I'm the wet rapper back snapper. Used to be a gat capper. Now I'm spitting raps from the Adam's apple. Better back paddle for you get the best at them. That battle's not one you won't back back at them. Average guys. Asking me how I smash these beats If I told you, I'd have to fold you That's classified Don't like to brag, but I had to boast It's a fad of mine So please don't be sad when the pimmies pair with that in mind I think it's asinine That people whine like a buster Because they life don't measure up to another sucker What type of life might tell Tucker I don't support you Tactics the way that you battle And they gon' cut the mustard You seem like you a teen wife Not prepared for this mean life Not even aware you just see a green light I think you mean right But you look at me like An alien in the night If I'm the A, then you the Z type the Proto, it's me, bro. You can try to dress it up when I'm in street clothes. I still peek, so uh, probably one of the few lies I ever told. That's because I don't peek, I just crow. you to see that it's everybody is ignorant uh -huh. it's only when you speak on what you don't know you become slow and that ignorance crosses into stupidity True. yet i'm still spending my energy debating enemies that tend to be idiots really inept politically that don't have the depth
What up, what up, what up? Happy Monday, happy Monday. Welcome to Cannon Speaks. I am Cannon Hotep. I appreciate you guys joining me today. If you're new, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon. It'll let you know when we got new content coming out. Or well, supposed to. You know how the algorithm be on our heads. Anyway, uh, share this stream. Let people know we live. If you're catching the replay, let me know how I'm doing. Leave me a, a message, you know? Just say hi, you know? You know, salute, something. You know what I mean? The message of the night is, do you think little Russia, a.k.a. Ukraine, is winning this war? Leave me messages, you know, leave your comments, you know, if you're catching a replay, if you're in the chat, leave it in the chat. But the question of the night is, do you think Ukraine, a.k.a. little Russia, is winning this war? We're going to get into that. Also, I want to talk a little bit about a new, uh, a new, I guess, uh, show I'm going to start. You know, I'm a, it's going to call it, be called Koofy on Tight. <laughs> it's be called Koofy on Tight. I'm going to have various people on to discuss, uh, you know, some tinfoil, a.k.a. conspiracy, a.k.a. Uh, stuff that, you know, we can't, we can't use on, uh, we can't really say too much of it here on, on the YouTubes, but more than likely this will be sh- this show will be streaming to Rumble and Twitch. You know what I mean? So we're gonna we're gonna go that way with that. But <clears throat> we're gonna give we'll give you a little taste of it tonight. Um we're gonna talk about Nikola Tesla and the fact that he doesn't get his just due. Anyway, like I said, if you're new, hit that like, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification icon, it'll let you know when I got new content coming out. Please, please, please share this stream, let people know we're live. Let people know we're live. YouTube don't like putting out my, uh, people don't like putting out my, uh, or YouTube don't like putting out my notifications. You know what I mean? Until it's too late. They'll throw the notification out when I'm ready to end the stream. And then they'll hide this video for 24 hours before anybody else can find it. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into it. Now, before I start everything, I got my issue of the non-existent Ripperverse I saw him issue one in the mail again I got my what the haters were saying non-existent the haters said that he couldn't do it the haters the hater said that he was just grabbing money was taking money from his subscribers and that this book wouldn't this book wouldn't surface yet here it is here it is in all of its glory all right Salute to my man, Young Ripper. In the Ripper verse. Putting out that first issue of Ice Song. I read it last night. It is a great, great story. It's a fantastic story. I don't want to give it away. Go get your copy. But it's a fantastic story, and I can't wait for issue two because they leave you hanging. They give you a cliffhanger, and they make you want to buy issue two when issue two comes out. It's straight fire, man. Again. 
Dom DeMonco. DeMonco. Salute to my man, Eric July, a.k.a. Young Ripper in the Ripperverse, for making history and proving them haters wrong that when you set your mind to something, no matter who's against you, you're going to get it. You're going, you're going to, you, can, you can accomplish anything. I wish him nothing but success in the future. Wish him nothing but success in the future. Anyway, let's get into this, man. So, Hotep's been telling you. My man, Just Josh, been telling you. P Dog, been telling you. That this is the Oko Hotep been saying this is chest, not checkers shines. We told you in the beginning. When this whole conflict started over there with Big Russia and Little Russia, all right, the man from Moscow, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, read between the lines, the man from Moscow was playing nice. The man from Moscow was trying to go over there with as little casualties as possible, with as little damage to the infrastructure as possible. He was slow rolling this. He didn't want that many casualties. He didn't want to go over there and scorch earth with the with the with the, the citizens of Little Russia. But NATO and the West backed the bear into the corner. And they were poking the bear. And he said, stop. They wanted Little Russia to join NATO. They still want Little Russia to join NATO. Which puts Big Russia into the, into a corner. Now, I've been saying it all along that this is nothing but a civil war. This is all this is, is a civil war between two sister nations. And I stand by that. I stand by that. But he ain't playing no more. He not playing no more. It started when he started, uh, quote unquote, I guess uh, drafting people, right? To shore up the army. Then he gave he gave you the warning when he gave his talk a couple of weeks ago. He gave you the warning. Next thing you know, what happened? The Nord Stream pipeline was sabotaged. You know, it could have been a false. It could have been a Fugazi banner. It could have been, right? They could have sabotaged it themselves. You know, hell, the U.S. ain't beyond that shit. The U.S. have done it, you know. The U.S. have done it, you know, Gulf of Tonkin, Lusitania, babies in the incubator, right? But it wouldn't behoove them to do so, right? Because they had the monopoly on energy over there. That pipeline was supplying how many people? How many, I mean, nations? All right. Remember, in order to even get any any crude oil from the man from Moscow, you had to pay him in rubles. That was his that was his uh his get back for all of the sanctions that the West put on him. Now don't get me wrong. I don't condone anything the man from Moscow is doing. I don't condone any of this. I Honestly, I think it's a civil war and we should leave that between them. That's just me. That's just how I see it. Right? You got, you know, the mainstream media capping for Little Russia. Saying that they got they got they got the man from Moscow on the run. Right? And I've said this. I've said this. Whoever wins the 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 information war wins the con. Whoever wins the information war wins this war, right? Because at first, that's all this was was information war, right? Propaganda. We saw it with the with the with the model from over there in Little Russia with her with her airsoft gun. We saw with uh, Zelensky, um, quote unquote, on the battlefield when those pictures were from like years ago. Right. Then on top of that, you got, like I said, uh, Little Russia, 
uh, not a part of NATO. However, um, getting aid from NATO countries, including the great United States of America. It seems like the man from Russia had enough. And I think things about to take a real turn for the worse. I think things about to get really bad. Check this out from Reuters. Russia launched its biggest airstrike since the start of uh, since uh, start of Ukraine war. So here's the summary: Attacks across Ukraine cities during Monday rush hour. Damn. They're trying to destroy it, says Zelensky. Ukraine says 11 major infrastructure targets hit. Power, water, heat knocked out in swaths of the country. So he's crippling their infrastructure. He's crippling the essentials. Again, like Unc say, it's chestnut checkers, people. It's chestnut checkers. Kiev, October 10th from Reuters. Russia rained cruise missiles on busy Ukrainian cities on Monday in what the United States called horrific strikes, killing civilians and knocking out power and heat with his most widespread air attacks since the start of the war. Missiles tore into intersections, parks, and tourist sites in the capital. Uh, Kiev and um, explosions were reported in uh, Lviv. Is that how you say it? Uh, Ternopoly. And I don't know how to pronounce that word. In Western Ukraine. Uh, Nipro. Nipro and whatever that is. Uh, Kerm, Kermanchuk. <laughs> Excuse me if I'm butchering these words in the center of uh can't pronounce that word <laughs> in the south of uh Kar Kharkiv in the east. I'm sorry guys, I can't pronounce a lot of this some fucking hey. If you can do better, let me know, god damn it. Let me know. I'll let y'all check that shit out yourself. Ukrainian officials said at least eleven people were killed. And scores injured in uh, suspended elect uh, electricity exports to Europe while it tried to end uh, blackouts across the country. Thousands of residents, residents raced to bomb shelters as air raid sirens rang out through the day. The barrage of dozens of cruise missiles fired from air, land and sea was the biggest wave of airstrikes to hit away from the front line at least since the initial volleys on the war first day, February 2024. See, I honestly, like I said, I don't condone anything that old, the man, old Poots is doing, the man from Russia is doing. All right, salute the reaction PR for that. Salute the reaction PR for that uh that label. However, I was telling you he was he was he wasn't playing. I mean he was he was slow rolling this. He thought it wasn't gonna come to this, but it has. And now it seems like he's gonna go hard and it sounds like whoever wants smoke, right? Whoever wants smoke gonna get this smoke from him. Check this out from, uh, what's this, Weon? Russian airstrikes hit German embassy in Kiev. Russian airstrikes hit German embassy in Kiev on Monday, said German media outlet uh, Bild. I don't know. However, 
the building was not in use since the war erupted. As per Euro News, uh, the visa office of the German embassy received damage. So he even hit the, the German embassy. I don't know if it was on purpose or I don't know if it was just it was just in the way. But I really don't think he's playing right now. And I don't under, I don't think people really understand how serious this shit is getting. I don't know if people really understand how serious this is getting. I think we're well on our way to another world war. And I'm not trying to be hype. I'm not trying to be hyperbolic, right? I'm not trying to be gaslight. I'm not trying to fear monger. This is what it seems like to me. He not joking no more, yo. He not. I don't think he was joking in the first place, but he not playing nice no more. I think in the beginning, I think he was trying, you know, trying to go over there. He was trying to give Zelensky a chance to 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 back away from the West and back away from NATO, right? Surrender peacefully. I think the propaganda from the West and the propaganda from the Ukraine got them a little cocky and now he he's he he he's all in. Understand this. And I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong out there. I see Virginia gentlemen in the building. What's going on, sir? I appreciate you joining them, but correct me if I'm wrong. He ain't gonna lose this. The man from Moscow is not, he's not going to, he's not going quietly into the night. He will scorch earth. In my opinion, he will scorch earth in my opinion before he loses this battle or this war. He cannot let little Russia become a part of the mob. I think in his strain, I think in his strange, crazy brain, he think he liberating the people of Little Russia. Now there's some argument for that since a lot of people in the Eastern Bloc believed themselves to be a part of, you know, a part of, you know, believe themselves to be Russian. Right. But it seemed like the West and NATO are like get down to lay down. And it sounded like old old the man from Moscow like make me. Now I know that there's a lot of talk about him letting them letting them uh letting them nuke them nukes go. Now me personally, I don't know if he'll do it. Everybody swear up and down that he's going to do it. He's going to let he's gonna hit that button. He'll hit that button. He'll let them nukes fly. I don't know. I don't I don't know if he wants to go that far. You know, I would hope that. I mean, let me let me rephrase that. I would hope that he wouldn't want to let that go that far. I would hope he wouldn't go that far. But he seemed desperate. He seems desperate. He seems like he's on a war path. All right. I'm not even really going to say desperate. I think I'm going to say he seems he seems like he on a fucking mission. He's on a mission and he's he will not lose. I feel like y'all going to he's going to have to be taken out before he loses this. I feel like he's going to be taken out before he loses this. Anyway, let me see what we got going on in the chat. Who in here today? We got my man Jay Pyle on as always. What's going on, Jay? What's going on? We got Sauce the Prophet. He says it's crazy. I was just watching a video on Tesla's 369 theory before hopping in the stream. I hear that, man. I hear that. We got Stuff Colonel in the building. 
He's saying hell no. I guess he's saying he's saying <laughs> he's he said he said uh, Russia ain't losing this. You know what I mean, I hear that shit. We got the broccoli in the building. What's going on? We got again the Virginia gentleman. I'm happy you could join us over from uh, the Council on Future Conflict. I appreciate you, sir. We got Elaine's rotten bottom in the building. It says that sandwich looks good. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. What else we got in the building? We got Toloco. We got Toloco 16 in the building, saying this is the direct result with bodies to back it. Um, of how dangerous censorship really is, bruh, bruh. True words have never been spoken. Let me see. Jay says, uh. <laughs> Gates and them want us eating uh printed food that looks as looks as good as that as the t-shirt printed sandwich. But a lot less filling. You're a trip, bro. Saw says the main from Moscow, like, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Fuck them. <laughs> What's that from, yo? Is that from that's the that's the chick that was uh I guess quote unquote Reese Freestyle and I saw that on IG. That shit is hilarious. Super Carlo in the building. He says, you're right, Cannon. This could be part of the reset they need. Hey. Hey. Could very well be. So I said he'll let the missiles fly like he stuffed Curry. Bruh. I hope not. But like I said, I don't know. To local 16 says the guy over there doesn't concern me. What concerns me is the same people that unleashed the coof to gain power. Yeah, that's true. They're about to lose it in November and they'll make they will nuke us just to remain. Bro, so you think they going they going they going to do something to us and then blame it on uh, the man from Moscow? Huh. Mm, Koofy on tight with that one. Koofy on tight with that one. So I said he's talking about regular nukes, or, or regular missiles, not nukes. Yeah, oh no, yeah, yeah. He gonna he let he gonna let them fucking rockets fly, bro. He gonna let them rockets fly. He already letting them rockets fly. But the thing about it is, you let the West tell you, let the the propaganda arm, you let big media tell it. Russia on their heels. Russia on their heels. Now I'm not gonna pretend to know everything, right? Because I don't. I don't. I'm just going off a gut feeling I have. Right? I would encourage you guys all go over to the Council on Future Conflict, though. Those guys really got it dialed in. They know what they're talking about better than I do. I watched them for my my information. You know, this is just a gut feeling I got here. You know what I mean? I feel like this is going to escalate very quickly now. And all I'm going to say is just be ready, guys. Be ready. Be ready, you know, because, you know, and this is just me, the U.S., they, all they what, never let a good crisis go to waste, right? All they need is a good reason. All they need is a good reason to go do some shit, right? All they need is a good reason to go do some shit. Think about it. Like I said, golf of Tunkin, right? It was a lie. That shit ain't even exist. It's like, and it's documented. It ain't like I'm just making that shit up. That shit is documented. Put us, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Vietnam, was it? Lusitania. People didn't want to go to war. I think it was World War One. was Lusitania, right? I think Lusitania was World War One. People didn't want to go to war. The United States ain't going to go to war. The people didn't want to go to war. But they needed a reason to send troops from the United States over to Germany. And what did they do? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, this American, this American cruise ship gets hit. Lusitania. Boom. Next thing you know, we in World War One. Right? It's alleged. It's alleged that that base over in Hawaii, I'll say it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Excuse me. They knew ahead of time that something may or may not happen. And they let it go down. You know why? Because people didn't want to go to war. 
People ain't want to participate. We don't need to be over there. It's not our fight. But that base in, in Hawaii got hit. We ain't got no choice but to go over there, right? Fight for freedom and democracy. Remember the babies in the incubator story? I forgot where the girl was from. Was she from like Kuwait or something like that? Not, well, no, it wasn't, wasn't Iran. Was it Kuwait? Where was she from? She went before Congress and said they were killing babies in the incubator. Come to find out it was made up story. And I think she was the, the daughter of said country that needed to help. But they made the story up to get, uh, well, she didn't make the story up. The powers that be here made the story up for her to give, for us to, so to give us the reason to go over there. So when people say, you know, those, those, those false events, those, those Fugazi events, you know, are far fetched and those things don't never happen. It's happened. They've happened. Go look up what Operation Northwoods was. Go look up Operation Northwoods and compare that to another incident. I won't even tell you what incident, but go look up Operation Northwoods. See if y'all can't figure that out. I'm going to say they had good intelligence on that something could possibly go down. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. To Local 16 says, that's what I would do if I was evil. Bro. I think there's going to be far reaching implications. I think things are going to get escalated. I think that it's an election year. Right, midterms are coming up. Um, primaries, you know, they're gonna start campaigning soon, right? Remember when old uh Barry O ran for president again? What'd he do? He was unpopular with the people. What happened? He went and got Osama bin Laden, said he killed him. Where's the body? <laughs> oh, we flushed him down the ocean, <laughs> like Patrice O'Neill said. They flushed him down the ocean like he was cocaine. World's most wanted all time. Oh, we got him. We killed him. Where's body? Oh, <laughs> we flushed it down the ocean. Tradi burial tradition. Like I said, people, I think something, you know, I think some big some big shit going to happen. I think something's going to happen and then um, we're going to be involved. Something's going to happen that's going to justify us going over there and getting involved. And voila. Military industrial complex all over again. You know, no matter what side you fall on. Me personally, I don't think we need to be over there at all. I need to let them sort that shit out. We didn't give Ukraine enough money, enough resources to fucking properly defend themselves. And if they really got these, if they really got uh, 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 the man from Moscow on the run, then there ain't no reason for us to even set foot over there. But no matter what the media telling us, that pocketbook that pocketbook looking real low for, oh, for us. Like, I thought y'all said that they had them on the run. Why are we sending more money? What's going on? Just saying. So I think something big going to happen. I think that, you know, the man from Moscow was pissed. I think he was slow rolling this shit. I think he was trying to do this with as less casualties or less infrastructure damage as he possibly could do. Right? I think he actually... I guess in some weird way cared about the people <laughs> little Russia. Right? The reason why I call it Little Russia, by the way, is because it that's what it used to be. You the, the Ukraine was a part of Russia back in, you know, the, the day, back in the back in the back in the day. Before it became its own sovereign nation. <laughs> but it was always 
an ally, a sister to Russia. Or a daughter to Mother Russia. You know. But I think the man from Moscow is pissed. I think he was slow rolling this. I think he was trying to take over with a less as less damage as possible. Uh as you know, as you know, less lot as, as the um the least life lives lost as possible. Um now it's he like fuck it. I'm not losing. Let me show y'all something. And it's going to it's, it's going to have far reaching implications, including here. So, like I say all the time, get ready, get prepared. Tim Osman, <laughs> yeah, Tim Osman, Tim Osman, yeah, Tim Osman. I'm sorry, Tim Osman. I apologize. But yeah, um, anyway, just like I said, guys, prepare yourselves, man. Watch for that hook. That hook coming, in my opinion. I think that hook's coming soon. Just be on the lookout for it. And just remember, when it does happen, Hotep's been told you. Anyway, we got 15 in a billion. Let's get let's get uh, let's get 15 likes. Please share this stream out. Please share this stream. Let people know we're live. If you're new, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon, please. Leave a thumbs up. If you're catching a replay, leave a comment. Question of the night is, do you think the man from Russia, do you think Russia is losing the war in Ukraine? Leave your answer in the comments. Leave your answer in the chat. Really appreciate it. So Local 16 says, didn't CNN or CBS interview that guy in the cave while the whole U.S. military couldn't find him. That is 100% right. They definitely did that shit. They definitely did that shit. All the world's a stage, people. All the world's a stage. My man reacts. PR's in the building. Yeah, the man from Moscow. That is the new phrase that pays. The new phrase that pays. That's what... That's what the president of Russia will be now called the man from Moscow. Anyway, enough of that. So. I'm going to start a new little show that I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do it once a month or if I'm going to do it once a week. I'm not sure yet. All right. It's going to be called Koofy on Tight. <laughs> and we're just going to pick something, right? I'm going to just pick like a, a random theory or a random thing like, uh, I don't know, Tartaria, right? If you guys know what Tartaria is. Um, maybe it's the mud flood shit, you know? Um, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that not a globe thing. You know, that hollow theory. I don't know if I can say any of that shit on YouTube, right? Because So that means that this show will have to be on something else, which I'll probably do it on Rumble, right? Because I can say whatever the fuck I want to say on Rumble for right now, at least. Um, I'll have different people on to discuss it with me, you know? If you guys have, like, any theories that you would like to talk about, right? Let me know. I'll bring you on. We can talk about it. Why not? You know what I mean? That's true, uh, Sauce. That's true. Remember the uh, was she the president of Iran? Was she the president of Iran? It was a woman. There was a president. And she said that old boy had uh expired long before uh zero dark thirty happened. And she was like a she was dead like a week later. Just saying. So Loco says, if you think we have time, uh civilian a civilization is only thirty six hours from total collapse. Remember the toilet paper shortages <laughs> now makes it food, water, and gas. It will be Mad Max in no time, bruh. 
Supercarlos is cannon trying to get uh, use of that Rumble <laughs> account to talk Kofi on tight. Yeah, I might have to, I might have to do that. It depends on what we're talking about if we're going to do it on Rumble sometimes. So, Toloco says, yeah, uh, not here. You, you can probably start the show here and then move to Rumble or Odyssey. We can discuss the spicy stuff. Facts. Facts. Ooh, here we go. What's this? I like these operations. Operation Snowcap. I'm going to look that shit up. Yeah, if I can write that shit down, I'm going to pencil that. Shit, a re uh, reaction. Tweet that to me. Operation Snowcap. Okay. Saw says uh, that not a globe theory has some convincing evidence in the Bible. That is true. That is true. That is true. That's why I would love to talk about it. Um, anybody on YouTube that talks about that not a globe that not a globe theory uh, gets eighty six for the most part for some reason. And that's really interesting, right? That's really interesting. If you if y'all think it's a crazy wild eye conspiracy theory, why kick people off the internet? Why kick the people off the tubes for that? Huh? Just saying. It's a lot of shit. Anyway, let's get to it, right? So, I was talking to a friend on uh, IG about physics, right? In particular, uh, quantum physics, right? Um, I'm a fan of quantum physics, right? I don't pretend to know everything about it because I, you know, I'm, I, I'm not an expert, but it's interesting to think about, right? You know, the double slit. The double slit experiment is really fucking interesting when you, you know, you roll, what is it, the ions and shit through the double slits. If you observe them, they land in a straight line and shit, right? Two, two straight lines. But when you don't observe them, right? When you don't observe them, them shit's all over the fucking place. You know what I mean? Um, quantum entanglement, which is really, that's what we were talking about. But quantum entanglement is really difficult to talk about. Like, not difficult, but it's kind of, it's tricky, right? Like, I like to think about, like, our cell phones, right? Or this situation we're talking about right here, right? Like, we're talking right now. And this transmission is going out over the ether. Hence, Ethernet, right? Ethernet. Over the ether, right? To your device. And you're watching me here, right? It's in the ether, and it makes it to you. From my device to your device, right? With quantum entanglement, it's when two, um, oh, fuck, don't quote me, two atoms or whatever that are a two, you know, that are that are, 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 are at a great distance away respond to each other despite being that distance away. So I kind of look at it like cell phones when we send text messages or talk on the phone or whatever. That's, I think, in my opinion, that's a form of quantum entanglement. All right. Anyway, so then that got me to thinking, right? Then that got me to thinking, like, man, start you start getting me to think about uh, Nikola Tesla, right? And I'm not talking about fucking Elon Musk, because some of these small-brained people out here in the world, when you say Tesla, they like who the who the the car the car the car maker? I like, know his name's Elon Musk. Nikola Tesla was a scientist, and some would argue that he was the greatest scientist inventor and inventor of all time a lot of the shit that we have today a lot of the shit that we have today we wouldn't have if it wasn't for him right you know uh ac current um he talked about the cell phone or you know smartphones before they was a fucking thing right but the one thing that he really did that was interesting. He had a death ray, apparently. He had a death ray and some shit like that, right? But the biggest thing he did was he figured out how to make free electricity. And JP Morgan was like, no, fuck that. We ain't doing that. I can't make no money off that shit. Right? So he was he uh he was making this place here, right? It's Warden Cliff Tower. It's in New York, right? Long Island. Right? So he was able to create and distribute essentially free energy from this place so what would happen is if i'm not mistaken he was able to shoot a bolt of like energy or electricity from that tower up into the ionosphere that shit would loop around and then he would send another one up like it would time it hit the motherfucker like a tetherball like a tetherball 
until I guess he ionized the fucking atmosphere. And then he went out with a single light bulb and touched that bitch to the dirt. And that shit lit up. He figured out how to give free wireless energy. And the bankers said, yeah, no, we not doing that shit because we can't make no money off that shit, bro. We shutting this shit down, bro. True humanitarian. That's why he died penniless. He wanted to make stuff for the people that the people didn't have to pay a lot of money for and shit like where money, any money at all. And, you know, the creatures from Jekyll Island was like, yeah, no, thank you. We can't make no money off that shit. All right. But he was brilliant. He was brilliant. You know what I mean? He was a brilliant man. You know what I mean? He had some great, you know, some great sayings, right? That make you think. It makes you think. It makes you want to look into certain things, right? Like, for example, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So now it's alleged, and I don't know. It could be true. It could be false. It's alleged that bees, right? Yeah, bees got wings, and they say, well, how bees fly if their body are bigger than their wings and all that other shit, right? They said apparently bees fly on frequency. It's alleged that bees fly on frequency. Think about that. Right. Remember, uh, it's a place I forgot where it is. It was a gentleman that made like this, this, um, these monuments or these coral. It was a coral castle or some shit like that. And apparently, like these, these, these rocks or whatever he had coming in was like they weighed so much like and he didn't have any equipment to move this shit but somehow he was getting these shits into place like, he was putting them up he was getting them into place and it's alleged the way he did it was through frequency and vibration right it's alleged that the egyptians the way they were able to move those 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 uh those blocks for the pyramids harmonics frequency and vibration so it was seen that, you know, given those examples and if that's how those things really went down, right? Nikola Tesla was on to something with that, right? He was on to something with that, you know? Another thing he said, where is it at? What's going on here? Okay. I don't want to get the quote wrong. Now this one, I really don't, I, I'm still trying to understand it. Right. You know what I mean? Um, If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. Divine numbers, man. Divine numbers. Nikola Tesla believed that uh, the numbers three, six and nine were divine. And if you could understand the numbers three, six and nine, you had the keys to the universe. All right. And I'm still trying to figure that shit out. I'm still trying to figure that shit out. Ah. <laughs> uh. But he figured some shit out. And I was wondering, right? So I guess he was Croatian, right? And I don't... Where's Croatia at? Like... Let's see. Mm. All right, so he was from Cro Croatia, right? 
Now, I don't know if Croatia will used to be a part of Russia or whatever. I don't know. However, there's this theory about this place called, tar called uh, what is it called? Tartaria or some shit like that, which is another thing I really want to get into. Like I said, when we do this, uh, do our Kufi on Tight show. He's from Croatia, right? And it's, he had all of this information. He said it himself that he didn't think of all of this stuff that he was creating. It was given to him through by divine, through divine intervention, right? Um, I was wondering, like, because I guess apparently, allegedly, this place to, 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 uh, called Tartaria existed in the 1800s and they had technology that far exceeded what we have even today. It's alleged, it's a theory, guys. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of it. Not sure if you guys ever heard of it, but uh, I was wondering, like, damn, it's like when I found out about that and I started looking at it, I was like, damn, I wonder if Nikola Tesla is a Tartarian or whatever they call Tartar or whatever the, whatever the people were called, if they existed, you know. But I would really like to talk about that because it's a really interesting theory. Um, but nonetheless, if it wasn't for Nikola Tesla. We wouldn't have a lot of the shit that we have today, but he gets none of the credit. People like Thomas Edison get the credit. People like Marconi get the credit. You know what I mean? Even Albert Einstein was quoted saying, somebody asked him, how's it feel to be the smartest man in the world? He said, I don't know. You had to ask Nikola Tesla. That came out of Einstein's mouth. So without going too far into the Kufi on tightness, we got to give a Don DeMarco to Don DeMarco. Nikola Tesla. And we'll get into him a little later. Anyway, let me see what you guys talk about in here. Where we at? Where we at? What's up, Bionic? <laughs> Bionic bum. What's going on? We should all be fans of quantum physics. Actually, that is true. I think so. I think so. I really want to watch that new Quantum Leap show. I haven't watched that yet. Is it out yet? AJ, hey, is that Quantum Leap show out? You know. Brown Sways says, uh, TLDR, quantum entanglement will let two particles communicate with each other uh, that are forever connected no matter how vast the distance is between the two. Thank you. Thank you, Brown Sway, my man. Brown Sway coming through with the knowledge that is exactly right i appreciate you appreciate your reaction my man emmanuel presley in the building what's going on emmanuel some say tesla could see the future that is true now there was a theory right that he was uh or this this is a story he allegedly was sitting he was doing an experiment and he got caught up in the current not the current uh because the current will kill you he got caught up in the voltage right I forgot how many watts it was, right? And he said, but when he, so he was stuck, but his, his help, his, uh, assistant came in, shut the power off, whatever. He said when he, when he came to or whatever, he said that when he was stuck in the, in the, in the, in the field, he was able to see immediately. He, he was able to see the immediate past, the present and the immediate future, which was real interesting, which gave him his uh his idea for a quote unquote time machine now they also made a movie and it's also a great theory that we should touch on too <laughs> i need to write these down called the philadelphia experiment how many of y'all know about the philadelphia experiment it's really interesting the philadelphia experiment right Apparently they were uh, doing world was it World War Two? They were trying to figure out how to get away to get around those German U boats and shit like that, without being uh, detected. They used the Tesla coil and they had Einstein out there trying to do some shit. They were trying to literally like cloak the ship with a magnetic field that the that would throw off the um, the U boats uh, instruments that so they couldn't be detected coming through. This alleged that when they turned the Tesla coils on and stuff like that, the, the ship started phasing in and out of reality, right? And some of the uh some of the, the sailors jump ship. But when they were jumping ship, they were jumping off into different timelines, different different uh years. 
right? It's a really, really, really interesting uh, theory. I'm not going to go too far into it, but the Philadelphia, they actually made a movie about it, but um, it's alleged that the Philadelphia experiment was a real thing that really happened. It's really interesting. <clears throat> really interesting. Toloco says, uh, quantum physics scare me. <laughs> I go deep down that rabbit hole. <laughs> Lane's Rotten Bottom says, we wouldn't have wireless internet service if we had free electricity. Hey, 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 hey. We wouldn't need it because we could just do whatever we wanted to. But, you know, powers that be can't make no money off of it. So this, you'll never have nothing free. Look at those guys that uh, are no longer with us long before they were supposed to be no longer with us that created those uh, water engines. Saw so said JP Morgan link JP Morgan's link to the top. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know about that issue too. I don't want to talk about that on YouTube. But I do know about that. And I do know that, you know, it's alleged that the Titanic might have took some damage. And they allowed it, they let it sail anyway. It's alleged it took some damage in the middle of being built. And it wasn't seaworthy. Brown Sway says there's the theory that <clears throat> the same towers that Nicola created uh were used within the church's chapels yes uh those long metal points at the top uh will transfer electricity into the bill um into the uh the building and then into the holy water i did i did hear about that i did hear about that so like when you look at the older churches right and they had those two caps at the top and then it's got like <clears throat> these um bulbs at the top the shit kind of looked like a like a tesla coil or um like a conductor, right? Let's see if I can't pull it up. Let's Here we go. So, um, eh, nah, maybe not that one. This right here. So, like, something similar to this here. Something similar to this here, right? They said would be able to transfer energy. See that? Like, how it's green? You see how that? That's green. That's not green because it's got it's painted. That's copper. And that's from the oxidiza oxidization of it, right? Same thing with this here, right? They said that these would be able to conduct electricity between the two, right? If I'm not mistaken, right? There's one that really looked like, there's a couple that really looked like crazy. Like, like yeah, those things, they doing something. But y'all get my drift, right? Like these here. Look at that shit. Look at that right there. Like these right here, right? They look like they're supposed to conduct some electricity right there. But yeah, I, I know exactly what theory you're talking about. I know exactly what theory you're talking about, Brown Suede. Shit, I got to get you on the channel, y'all. Get you on the channel. We're going to talk about some of this. We're going to bring some up. I'm going to just let you go for it, all right? So I says somatics. The somatics. To local sixteen says a lot of uh Q stuff originate um there with Tesla. Donnie T's grandfather. Oh yeah, I know about that one too. It's alleged that Donnie T a time traveler too, though. Right? There's a theory about Don uh, Donnie T being a time traveler and he saw what was gonna happen and all this other stuff. It's alleged that he was John Titer or John Teeter, um, that was in the message boards in like the early two thousands, right? Yeah, I know about that one too. I ain't gonna go too deep into that one, but yeah, uh, um, Donnie T's um, uncle actually <clears throat> It's not his grandpa's uncle. His uncle John, Donnie T's uncle John, actually was friends with Nikola Tesla, and allegedly the FBI or the Franklin Beverly Institute asked him to go in once Tesla passed away to secure his documents, and it's alleged that his uncle came across the schematics for the. Uh, time machine 
but they couldn't create it because they didn't have you know because of the technology of the time it's alleged that before his grand his uncle died he gave the schematics to donnie t and donnie t which was a millionaire and this and that probably had the means to make that shit try try to make that shit work and maybe it did maybe it did maybe that's why we had all that 40 chess who knows it's all fun shit it's all fun guys it's all fun and game you know you know i'm just saying truth is stranger than fiction right just saying Saw says the frequency creates an electromagnetic field that levitates whatever they want uh, to be loved. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, they said bees fly on frequency, bro. Like we see that. Like they have experiments where they can levitate shit off based off frequency. You know. Ron, uh, Koyas Ronan says you should research the European insect scientist. Who created a levitating levitating machine by using um, inside wings uh, due to vibrations they created? Hmm, that's interesting. Huh. My man, watcher on the webs in the building. What's going on, bro? What's going on? Salute to the watcher on the web in the building. I appreciate you coming to coming to check us out. If you're not subscribed, go to watch on the web. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. <laughs> Jay says, sacred math. Let's go, Gematria. I hear that. Emmanuel says, remember a few weeks ago when a report came out that uh, not a space agency <laughs> said we were intentionally uh, dumbing down people uh, from birth. From birth on, that's what I feel when I hear about Tesla. Hey. Hey, hey, just saying. When you hear about Tesla's, like that's they wasn't telling you. They ain't tell you to you know who really was 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 you know creating a lot of this shit, right? Okay, thanks. So he was Serbian but born in Croatia. I appreciate the correction on that. Oh, Sam did a show on this? I didn't know that. I like Sam Tripoli. Shout out to Sam, Sam Tripoli and the Tenfold Hat Pod. That's why I got the term, I'm building seven and over. I got that from him. <laughs> when people ask, like, what, where you at on, on that day in September? I'll be like, I'm building seven and over, people. <laughs> oh, man. Paris World Fair, 1885. That rings a bell to me. I feel like that would have something to do with the Tatarians or whatever it is. The Paris World Fair. The Akashic Records. So, and Edgar Casey. I, Edgar Casey. What is, is that the guy that was like, he would go to sleep and then like predict like or tell you like your future or something like that? Was that who Edgar Casey was? Now, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um. But I do, I, I do need to re research the Akashic Records. I do know about it. I know some about it, but I don't know a whole lot. Saw says 80% of electric power we have today uh, is because of Tesla. Yeah. Emmanuel also says, this is one of the most interesting topics. I would love to learn more about things like this does anyone have good books recommendations yeah it's, it's hard because they be trying to yo, they try to silence a lot of this bro they've been trying to they try to shut a lot of this up you know what i mean it's like it comes and goes oh it sucks y'all <laughs> i gotta watch an episode i'm gonna watch an episode we definitely gonna talk about it jay we definitely gonna talk about it Brown Sway says, I believe consciousness is a frequency, a radio wave type of uh, energy that lets us communicate with uh, beings outside our realm. I believe, I, I, yo, like, I ain't gonna go too deep into it, but I know astral travel is a thing. Right? Um, I think we can remote view when we sleep. 
Like I don't think Like sometimes I think We're in, in charge Maybe we It's It's a lot bro We can go deep on that We can go deep on that We can go real deep on that Go real deep on that My man Jay coming through with the with the knowledge. He says some event for the 18th and November the 5th. Remember, remember the 5th of November, guys. Oh shit, that 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 that, that faux day is coming. Mm. Mm. Y'all make sure y'all mark that. Whatever, make sure y'all mark that. You know when we start talking about shit, they be trying to they be trying to kill it. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I give it to your Eagles, y'all. I give it to your Eagles. But hey, the Ravens pulled it out too. The Ravens pulled it out too yesterday. I saw you hating before I got off the stream yesterday, Emmanuel. Just saying. Ronan says the Philadelphia experiment isn't the first one. There is a, an, an experiment that uh, predates that one. Damn, I didn't know that. Need some information on that one. Oh, okay. Research the Nets. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. I researched that too. I'll research that one too. Got you. Again, if you're new, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon. It'll let you know when I got new content coming out. Please, please, please share this stream. Let people know we're live. Let people know we were live. If you're catching the replay, please leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Question of the night is, do you think uh, the Ukraine is winning the war against Russia? Let's see. There's also an interesting story about the Great Wall of China. That's interesting. Brown Sway says, tonight's episode is amazing. I shared this on uh, my Discord. I have to get my buddies involved. Hey, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm all. I, I just like talking this shit, right? I just like talking this shit. Like, it's fun. You know, it's, it's nice. You know, it's a nice distraction. And a lot of this shit. I'm telling you, a lot of these these quote unquote theories. I don't think they theories. I don't think some of these conspiracies are conspiracy. I think this shit is fact. That's why I think YouTube be trying to get people out of the paint because they don't want people to learn about a lot of this shit. <laughs> Jay says, "I am John Titer." <laughs> <laughs> Somatics is the use of uh, frequency to create uh, geometric shapes. Good example is cathedral windows. Oh, and the organs and tuning forks inside those cathedrals. Uh, it was said that they were healing centers. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. To local 16, excuse me. Coral Castle. That's what I thought it was. Coral Castle in Florida. Uh, is the one where the uh, the man allegedly levitated the stones and built the castle. Yes, thank you. I knew it was coral something. Excuse me. Brown Sway says younger um dry what's this? Dry it dry as events may prove our planet was hit by an asteroid or comet that caused the great flood. Look it up and research for Greenland crater August twenty eighteen. That's interesting. There's also a theory about uh, these mesas and some of these mountains being ancient trees that were petrified and got fucked up by the cataclysm, whatever happened, the great flood or whatever you want, whatever happened. Mayo says there is this great show about Boston dynamics inventions and I can't think of it now. <laughs> Really, bit shoot. I gotta get a bit shoot account. I don't think I have one. I thought I, I think I started one a while back, and I just, I don't know. I lost that shit. I may have to start a new one, but I didn't start it as Canon Hotep though. Let's see. Brown Space said, "Great books. Black Genesis by Robert uh, Bovel and the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the Atlantean, huh? By uh, Duriel. Okay." Emmanuel Presley says, I can astral protect. It scares me. I can consciously control dreams, but it often leads to sleep paralysis. I put up a long post about it on my Facebook. I remember when I was a kid that I used to, I used to astral travel when I was a kid. I didn't know what the fuck it was until like, excuse me, guys, it's getting late. I didn't know what it was until 
<laughs> I didn't know what it was. So I was like 35. I was like, oh shit, that's what I used to do when I was a kid. You know what I mean? I had these dreams. I was fighting these wars when I was a kid, but maybe I was. Maybe, maybe, maybe I was in another life. Who knows? You <laughs> glad the Ravens won. I bet a lot of money on the Bengals missing the playoffs. <laughs> no, I didn't see this. I didn't see it. San Fran uh, Palace of Fine Arts. Look that up. Can't remember what it's linked to right now, but there's a story behind it. All right. But look, guys, we definitely going to do this. Kofi on Tighter either be here on YouTube or Rumble or maybe a little bit of both. But be on the lookout for that. If you want to be on the show, uh, just DM me on Twitter. Say you got a, you know, you got a topic that you want to talk about. Um, and we we try to get you on the show. Um, I like talking about stuff like this. It's also a great distraction from what the fuck going on now. Because old the man from Russia ready to be ready to scorch earth in order to to win this. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Anyway. It's late and I'm tired. I appreciate you guys rolling with me. If you're new, hit that like, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification icon. Please share this stream. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments if you're here catching the replay. The question of the night is, do you think the Ukraine is winning against Russia? Anyway, I appreciate you guys rolling with me. It's Cannon Hotep saying, stay safe, stay well, stay strapped. Nikola Tesla is the real MVP. <laughs> I'll holla at y'all.